Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be something a little different because I'm actually gonna be covering a drugstore um, makeup product, which I don't really t tend to do, but sometimes there's a product that intrigues me, I'm curious about, and I end up purchasing it. So um, uh, Maybelline came out with a new liquid blush, and I guess it's a blush bronzer. So there's some bronzy shades, there's some blush shades, there's some shades that could be kind of both, but it is the Sun Kisser Multi-Use uh, Liquid Blush. But there are some bronze shades like I talked about, and it does say it's multi-use and i was kind of curious about so i did reach out um, via instagram to maybelline and asked like what does the multi-use mean does that mean it's like a cheap and a cheek and lip product or is it you know just a cheek product and they said that it is a blush and bronzer so that's what they mean by multi-use it's not to be used on the lips or it's not meant to be used on the lips um so i just wanted to clarify that because i have seen some people um on tiktok use this on the lips but anyway they came out with 10 shades i have six of them um they went on sale on ulta and two shades when i purchased them were um out of stock and if i felt like i was actually going to go purchase all 10 but since I couldn't purchase all 10 at the time, I purchased six. And one of the shades did become available and I just said, you know what, I'm gonna get the six shades. If I like them, maybe I'll purchase the additional four, but I have six shades. And um, so the shades that I have are the Blazing Blush, City Sizzle, Soul Search, Uptown Glow, Downtown Rush, and Sun Tempt. The four shades I don't have are Electric Bronze, Summer in the City, Rooftop Views, and Shades On. Shades On is the one that has been sold out or out of stock um, the entire time. And on Amazon, it says it's being released on May 15th. So I don't think it was ever available on Ulta. I could be wrong. I have seen some people get it, but the people that have it are the people that got it in PR. So anyway, so I have six shades. I'm gonna try all six on today. I have already swatched them. I did some pictures in the uh, studio lighting and then also in natural lighting. And it's interesting because some of them, two of them are very, very sheer. And then two of them have some pigmentation. So I'm kind of curious as how these are going to be um, on the cheek. But you know, I'm kind of curious, you know, but we'll see. Okay, so this description on Ulta is Maybelline Sun Kisser Liquid Blush delivers glowy, sun-kissed cheeks that last no vacay needed. Its ultra-blendable and buildable formula melts into skin for natural glow and up to 12-hour wear. Available in 10 multi-use blush and bronze shades, mix and match to create any look from a natural flush to a dimensional lit form within glow. So again, um, it is meant to be a blush and a bronzer. And here are the shades so here are some swatches that i did here are the shades from left to right the blazing blush is a light pink with silver tone pearls city sizzle is a rose tone with luminous pearl soul search is a nude pink with golden pearls uptown glow is a glowing pink downtown rush is a luminous peach with pink undertones and then sun tempt is a coral tone bronze with golden shimmer and here is the same shades um, in studio lighting so you can kind of see the difference in the lighting but as you can see some have quite a bit of pigment and some are almost like a highlighter and you know the city sizzle is definitely the one that i think has the most pigmentation the bronze one is also pretty um i only had one bronze there's like two other bronze shades uh, electric bronze and then summer in the city are the other two bronze shades but you know i'm not the sun tempt is a coral tone bronze but i think it, it's a pretty blush i'm not big into shimmery bronzers so i really wasn't interested in the you know bronzy you know shimmery shades now i did see some people saying that they thought these would be great dupes for charlotte tilbury or rare beauty i'm going to tell you right now they're not a dupe for either um definitely you know definitely very very different formulas what these reminded me of when i saw them and then when i swatched them are the tarte man eater blush and glow very very similar to that um 
these most of these are a little bit sheer uh, but I there were some that were very fair and very sheer in those this is what the they are most similar to so if you are looking for if you like those those are great products I have four of them I did a bunch I did a whole video on them I'll post it up here really great products but that's what this is um, if you are looking for a product you know a if you're looking for a higher end product that this might be a dupe for it, that's what it's, a, that's what I would say it's kind of similar to. I don't think it's a dupe, but that's what it's the most similar as far as products that I have tried. It's not similar to the Charlotte Tilbury at all, and it's definitely not uh, similar to the Rare Beauty. Um, so, but it's the uh, very similar to the Tarte Manator Blush and Glow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try two on at a time. It's going to be a very quick video. I'm going to try two on at a time. And what I did is I paired, after I did the swatches, I kind of paired them up to be the most similar. So the two that I'm going to be pairing up first is going to be Blazing Blush and Soul Search. One's a light pink with several torn pearls and then a nude pink with golden pearls. And those were the two that were the most sheer. And I think that they could be almost a blush topper or maybe a kind of pinky highlighter. Those were the two that were most sheer. Then I'm going to pair up Uptown Glow with Sun Tempt. Uptown Glow is described as a glowing pink, but it's kind of like a peachy. It's not really pink. It's kind of got some peach undertones. At least I see more of a peachy shade, so I thought it was very similar to Sun Tempt. And then City Sizzle and Downtown Rush um, are the two that I felt had the most pigment of the six that I had, so I'm going to put pair those together so that you can see how they look on either side. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, let's go ahead and talk about the packaging. They're very similar to the lifter glosses. Now, I decluttered all of mine. I liked them, but I thought the packaging was a little uh, bulky. I would say the same thing for these. The only thing is that because they're square, they're very easy to store because they can kind of stack on top of each other, you know, a little bit easier than if they were round because they just kind of take up more less space with that. But the applicator is really nice as well. So this one is very, very pink. This is the one that's kind of the lightest and also the, I guess, the most cool tone pink. This again is Blazing Blush. It's described as a light pink with several tone pearls. I'm going to be using my new Sigma um, Soft Angled Cheek from their new collection and I really like this, br this uh, brush for cream products. So what I'm going to do here is, because I know this one's pretty sheer, is I'm going to just apply it like that and this is how I'm going to do all of them. Now this one I expect to be pretty sheer and that's why I'm starting with the two sheer shades first and this feels like a highlighter. Um, this like kind of looks more like a highlighter. And I really, once I got this one, I didn't think I was going to like it that much. Um, I'm not big into the bubblegum pink anyway. And then it's just so sheer. So um, I think for some people they might like this. For me, it's a little too sheer. It's also a little too cool tone. I think this could be a pretty highlighter. Um, but this is probably going to be my least favorite. Okay, next up we have Soul Search, and this one is described as a nude pink with golden pearls. Again, now it's a nude pink, so you kind of expect it to be pretty sheer. Um, this one, I, th I, you know, again, is going to be sheer, but this one is more warm and peachy, and I'm, I will like this one better. <laughs> I still think it's a little sheer. Um, it kind of blends out to nothing. But again, these two shades, I think, are more blush toppers or highlighters than the other shades. The other shades definitely have more pigment. However, I do like this shade more. So again, this is Soul Search. I do like this shade more. Um, it's just warmer. I'm not a cool tone person. I tend to gravitate towards warm tones. And... This one, this one just I don't think is flattering on my skin tone where I think this one is. I still like a little bit more pigmentation, but I still think it's pretty. Okay, I have cleaned my cheeks, so now we're gonna move on to the next two. And the first one I'm gonna do is Uptown Glow, which is the Glowing Pink. And this one again is, you can see here, this does not look like pink. It looks like kind of a peachy, and you can see it here, it kind of looks peachy to me, so it doesn't really look pink. I like the shade, um, I don't know how I'm gonna like it on my skin, but I like it, but it's not very pink, um, it's not so much pinky. You can kind of see it's more peachy 
than pink. So I think the description is a little misleading. So um, yeah, this one's definitely peach. So, and you can see it's kind of, this one is still pretty, it's pretty sheer. Um, you know, I think one of the things with these is that you're gonna need a lot of product and they're even more sheer. Some of the shades with the Tarte Maneater Blush and Glow were very sheer, and that was one of the reasons why I didn't like them. The same thing with this one. I think, like here, I had to apply more. It does layer pretty well, and you, it is it is buildable, but you do need quite a bit of product. So not that much, I mean, this one had built up pretty nicely, but again, this is Uptown Glow. This one is described as the glowing pink, which is really kind of glowing peach. And then next up is Sun Tempt, and this is the coral toned bronze with golden shimmer. So again, this is going to be the only bronze shade that I have, and this one is the bronze shade that's really not really to be used as a bronzer. There's two that I felt like that were more bronzy, that I didn't get and definitely electric bronze was the one that was probably going to be used more as a bronzer but this one is a coral tone bronze and I like this shade like I think it's a really pretty warm shade and this one is really if you like a coral or you like you know a nude warm blush I think this one is probably one that you might be interested in. So again, as you can see, they are pretty sheer. So you can try and build up a little bit. So it needs, you know, they're not just not as pigmented as other liquid blushes that I'm used to. Um, but I guess there's that versatility where you could use as a topper, as a highlighter, or as a blush. You just need to build it up. Okay, so again, this is Sun Tempt, and this is the Coral Tone Bronze with Golden Shimmer. And then this is Uptown Glow, which is the Glowing Pink. So you can see kind of, this one's kind of corally, this one's kind of peachy, but you can see from the other two, the previous two from before, these have a little bit more pigmentation. The next two are gonna have, I think have the most pigmentation of the four that I, I mean of the six I have but these have a little bit more, still pretty sheer, but you can see the color. And as opposed to other, you know, shimmery um, blushes, I don't feel like it emphasizes the texture. Um, so I do like that. It does give a nice glow. I'm not a big glowy blush person, but I do think these are pretty. Okay, and now I'm gonna try the final two. The first one is City Sizzle, and this is the, definitely I think the one that has the most pigment, at least when I did my swatches. It's described as a rose tone with luminous pearl. And this one I think is really pretty. Like I think this one is going to be one that I think is a really pretty shade. Um, so I'm going to just apply it like I did the others. And you can see this one already has a lot more pigment. And even in the, um, kind of comparison of the shades you can see yeah that one already has more pigment it does sheer out because I did put quite a bit but um, this one you can see even in the swatch in the not even the swatches and just like the computerized image of the shades this one was just a, a lot darker than the other ones so blending it out now I did apply probably a little too much so I need to blend this out a little bit more but this is a really pretty glowing rose tone blush. Okay, I did um, kind of just blend it out a little bit more, but this one, I, I mean, this one's very, very pigmented. So if you're looking for a true blush, I think City Sizzle is going to be one, and you're like rose, like a rose tone, then that's going to be one that you might want to consider. Cause I think this one has like the most pigment. Next up is Downtown Rush, and this is described as a luminous peach with pink undertones. So, Again, lots of peachy, peachy pinks. This one doesn't is not as pigmented as the City Sizzle, but it definitely felt like it was going to be one of the ones with the most pigment of when I did my swatches. And again, yeah, this one, definitely not as dark as this one, but 
I mean, I, I don't have, I don't feel like I need to reapply. I just need to blend it out a little bit, but this one is really pretty as well. And again, this one is Downtown Rush. Okay, so here is the side-by-side -side comparison of these two. These are the two that, of my six, have the most pigmentation. So this is City Sizzle, a rose tone with luminous pearl, and this is Downtown Rush, which is a luminous peach with pink undertones. These I like a lot. These, if I were to recommend any of the six that I got, these would be the two I recommend. The first two are a pass for, for me personally. The pink, the really, um, the blazing blush is just, it's too cool toned for my skin tone and it just, it's not flattering for me. So maybe if you like cool undertones or you have a cool undertone, you might really like it. But both the uh, Blazing Blush and Soul Search were just too sheer. They're more like highlighters and it just doesn't appeal to me. Uptown Girl and Sun Tempt, Sun Tempt were really pretty, but again, just they're kind of in between. So if you like a very sheer glow, glowy blush, but you like it very sheer, you might like those. But for me, again, I think those are also a pass. The only two that I do recommend and I think are very pretty are the City Sizzle and Downtown Rush. I think these are really pretty. You've got this rose tone, so you've kind of got the pink, and then this is like a peach, so you've got that warm tone. So these two are definitely my favorite. When I did my swatches, I kind of thought that was going to be the case. Um, the shades on, which is the one that has been out of stock is a rose gold with metallic pearls that one is one that i was probably the most interested in i won't pick it up now because i just don't think these are not that they're not worth it but i don't think they're that great for me to pick up another shade um electric bronze was definitely very very bronzy and very dark and very pigmented but again i don't like a shimmery bronze i might like it as a bronzy blush um or a bronzer but again i think i've got what I want in these two than, you know, picking up any other ones. Um, the Sunset Orange Roof Type Views, I don't like orange blush for myself. And then Summer in the City was a warm bronze with a copper shimmer. That one I also would have been interested in, but again, because these are kind of okay, I'm not gonna pick up any more. So um, I think if you're gonna pick up any of these, I think the, of the six that I picked up, I would recommend Downtown Rush or City Sizzle. Um, and then the other four, I think, see if you can watch other videos that maybe show the shades and see how sheer they are before you pick them up because these aren't something that you can go to Ulta and test um, and they're not even in store right now. So that's the only thing because some are sheer, some have pigmented and some of these in the swatches like kind of looked to be very, very similar. So some are sheer and some aren't, so it's kind of misleading. But again, these are $11.99 at Ulta. I bought them, they were $11.99 with um, buy one, get one 50% off. So they ended up being about $8.99. And then I also, the reason why I got six was because I got um, $10 off if you spent $50. So I ended up, these ended up costing me probably about six or $7 a piece, which wasn't, you know, not bad but I wouldn't pay $12 for these. I would try and maybe pick up, I think $9, $10 tops for these. Um, I think they're $10 at Walmart, but they're not in stock yet. And they'll also be available at um, Target and Amazon at some point. But I think they're good. Um, I think they're okay, but it's not something I highly recommend either. But I think for a drugstore liquid blush, they're not bad. They're not bad, but they could they could be better. So anyway, um, with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.